105-99, 18.7 seconds left. The Nick defense stifling today, as expected. The Pacer offense not disciplined enough, not hungry enough, not sharp enough to get Reggie Miller the shots he needs, to get Derek McKee the ball where he needs it so he can take shots other than fading to his left across the key. Underway, Houston and Utah tied at two early. We'll be going there at the conclusion of this game. A game that's seen nearly 60 fouls called. Actually, that is short of the record for both teams in the playoff game. Miller for three, and he got it. Reggie Miller with a clutch tray, and it's 105-102. And a steal. Miller retreats to the three-point line. had no timeouts he basically had to play for overtime for the Pacers in that situation Miller's gonna make as he sets the screen he steps behind makes the first jumper on the inbound pass Greg Anthony stumbles and they can't get it to him the ball gets stolen Mason not able to call timeout Pacers have to box out here if they expect to win this game. Last time, similar situation. Anthony with the offensive board. A make is okay for the Pacers. Shooter John Starks, one of the great clutch players in basketball. Streaky, yes, but normally finishes plays like that. Misses two free throws. Pacers still can't get the rebound. And now Reggie Miller at the line for two free throws after Ewing just a bit long. Miller has hit 12 of 13 in the game. Only the second time in 16 games here at the Garden. In Against the New York Knicks, Indiana has reached 100 points. They won the other time. Maybe this will be the magic number for them here as well. It's like Indiana's win in game one at Orlando last year. Miller hits two. No timeouts. in the final 32 seconds taunting Spike Lee and 19,000 at Madison Square Garden one of the most remarkable comebacks in all of basketball they never gave up and the Knicks gave him a chance missed free throws Oh. And Dan Hicks has Reggie Miller. Dan? All right, Tom, just an unexpected turn of events there in the last minute. What was going through your mind? You knew you had to get a quick, quick couple of threes. Well, we knew we had to get a three. We were down by six. If we got a quick three on that, we knew they had no timeouts. We had to pressure the ball. Uh, we overplayed Anthony. Mason choked and threw it to me. I hit a three. And we almost cost us the game when Sam, you know, made that foul. But John Starks choked. We came up big. Reggie, maybe the difference between this year's team and last year's team, this team never gave up hope during the last portions of this game, even though it looked like you were on the losing end. Last year, I'm not going to lie, coming in here for the Eastern Conference Final, we didn't think we could win. We feel we could sweep this team. This is for you, Indiana. We're coming back. Yes. All right, Tom Hammond. All right, Dan. Reggie Miller, eight points in the final 32 seconds. We'll have more post-game interviews during halftime of the Houston-Utah game. Let's send you out west now for game five between Houston and Utah. Greg Gumbel, Steve Jones, and Hannah Storm.